Our next performer has penned hit songs for top country artists Reba McIntyre, Vince Gill, Kenny Rogers, and Ronnie Millsap. Her distinctively raspy, throaty voice graced one of the biggest hits of the 80s, the Grammy winning smash Betty Davis Eyes. Give a warm welcome to Kim Carnes. <laughs> So I'd like to introduce again Kim Carnes. There's only one. Thank you, thank you for having us. It's so special. It's gone way too fast. Thank you for saying yes. Yeah. It has. This is crazy. Please come back. We will, come promise. Back. Yeah. We'll come back and play the songs we've written. Yeah, let's we'll, 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 we'll go to our corner. That would be perfect. Oh, we'll get the harmony parts on oh, the video. Yeah. Just been threatened for mine. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the clothes true. do the whole thing. No, it's been wonderful, and thank you. Thank you so much. And, and again, being able to play across you, it's going wonderful. way, way back. After all it's these just, years, we're such old Isn't that crazy? I can't believe you guys never. No, it's I mean, we it's always... Nuts. We used to go in and out of the office at Amos Records at the We'd same hang time. out at Martoni's in oh Hollywood and drink a bunch of wine and talk about songs and sing backgrounds on demos, but um, yeah. this is the first show we've done. Anyway, it's wow. very, very special it to is. me. This is, this is awesome. Thanks, Bush. Bob, Billy, and Bob. Billy Panda on the guitar. Yes. All right, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> Come on. You deserve it, it's okay. Um, when I was going to record the song for my romance dance album, and um, my co producer, let's just say it didn't work out really well, and we had quite a bit of friction, and this song never got recorded, and that album actually only had, I guess in those days, instead of 12, it was 10 songs on, on an album, so it only had nine. So when I went um, to work with an, another producer for the next album, Mistaken Identity, um, it did get recorded. And um, we always cut live, so my band and I would uh, always rehearse like we were going on tour until we found exactly what felt the right way to do that song. And with this song, um, it went through many changes, and on about the third day, um, Bill Como, my keyboard player, who is absolutely incredible, came up with a hook lick that we all went, that's it, and everybody knew what to play after that. Um, we cut it the next day, live, second take, and actually what ended up being the record, um, Nico, you know Nico, Very well. the second engineer, uh, before going on Christmas break, said, well, let me just run off a, a rough for you. And of course, we could never beat the rough mix because you can't, can't beat the demo, you can't beat the rough mix. Ended up being the record. And um, I never dreamed uh, what a wonderful friendship um, that I would discover between the subject of the song and myself. She was so incredibly gracious to me and... Um, it was a highlight, so take it away, Billy. <laughs> and please, when we get to the trash drum part, um, help me out, you guys. Her hair is hollow gold. Her lips are sweet surprise. Her hands are never cold. She got bed day besides. She'll turn her music on you.
I'm Bob Shapiro. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys next time, all right? See you next time. Thank you Talk so much. And Billy Panda over there. The Panda Man.